edition of Mornings. I'm Maddie Oxenreiter. And I'm Dan Haynes. Today is Friday, April 28, 2017, and a sea day here at North Penn High School. In the spirit of last night's debut of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, Mr. Brumball is back with this week's Brumball Challenge. Remember to email your answer to mptv at mpenn.org. Here's your question. Hey, welcome to this week's Brumball Challenge. In celebrating our wonderful spring production, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, got a question for you. Joseph was a real historical figure. So, what was the name of Joseph's wife? The answer, when we get back. Congratulations to the North Penn High School Academic Decathlon team who returned from the national competition held in Madison, Wisconsin last weekend with five national medals. Connie Jang led the medal count with two medals, bronze in essay and silver in speech. North Penn also took home all three divisions in interview, with Brittany Wiley earning a silver at the honors level, John Boger earning a bronze at the scholastic level, and Nathaniel Meyer earning a silver at the varsity level. The team placed seventh in the large school division and tenth nationally. Congratulations again to the entire North Penn team for a great nationals competition and an outstanding 2017 2017 season overall. Thousands of community members from all different backgrounds and cultures came to North Penn High School for the 26th Annual International Spring Festival. Jake Loberak gives us a closer look. It's a great day here in uh, the North Penn area to be able to attend the International Spring Festival. It's 26th year. Uh, it's great for the community. It's unbelievable to think that we have 60-some um, uh, nationalities uh, represented, uh, I think 40 languages represented here in uh, the North Penn community. So this event showcases all of that. This festival represents the best of America, our diversity, our incredible stories. When we're united, we're so much stronger as a community. And I'm so incredibly grateful for the organizers of this event. I'm a first-generation immigrant. This country gave me everything I have. My family built something out of nothing through hard work and dedication, and that's what this festival represents. And we need more of these events that bring our community together. Well, the festival is all about diversity, and America is about diversity. I look at diversity as the strength of America. At any one day, I'm a practicing physician, and I see children of all ethnic backgrounds and religions. And I believe that kind of a mixture is what is going to keep America strong. I love coming to the International Spring Festival. This is one of the most wonderful events in Montgomery County. It highlights and showcases the diversity that we have from all over the world here in Montgomery County. This is a great opportunity for all of us to get a, get a little bit more familiar with some of the cultures that we may run into contact with. It's an extraordinary festival and it's great that it's right here at North Penn High School. I have to say the reason I'm here is because it's a premier event in our region and it celebrates our diversity. It celebrates our strength and what makes us great. Sports columnist Marcus Hayes visited North Penn to give students his take on the world of sports and how people communicate today. Hayes shared his take on the era of social media and how this new form of socialization affects the way people communicate in the field of news, journalism, and sports. The talk gave sociology students a real professional account on the way we, as a society, choose to communicate and how this impacts the business world. High school English students had the opportunity to enjoy some English literature and hang out with their classmates at this year's Reading Riot. North Penn television reporter Christian Decino has more. You literally mean forever. North Penn students had the opportunity to put their creative writing skills and their public speaking skills to the test at this year's Reading Riot. So we, it's sort of a read-a-thon. We read all day long. Students and teachers take turns. We try and give priority to the students. English-based classes such as creative writing, public speaking, honors English, and other elective courses came down to the IMC during their class periods to listen to students and the pieces they read. I was told once I possess beauty, but... From monologues to excerpts from novels to song lyrics and even original short stories and poems, the Reading Riot brought students together to enjoy some literature and have fun in the process. It's especially a treat when you get to hear your fellow students' original creative writing. Reporting from North Penn News, I'm Christian Gisino.
Health and Society classes got to listen to, into the dangers of driving distracted and the impact it has on others. PADUI Association Representative Mike Marcantino was in attendance to spread the message to the students. Marcantino is a 32-year retired police officer and offered some real-life experiences that he endured while on duty. Student Alice Yang. North Penn's very own indoor drumline traveled to the International Drumline Championships in Dayton, Ohio last week. We would like to congratulate them on a wonderful performance, placing 10th with a score of 83.88. Nice job to everyone involved on a fantastic season. Student Alice Yang has been awarded the Platinum Level Graduating Seniors Award by the community the Committee of U.S. Figure Skating. The intent beyond the Graduating Seniors Program is to have this honor bestowed to the student so that their peers and teachers are able to recognize their dedication to academics and athletics. The program recognizes schools for their support of their students' passions and interests that extend beyond the walls of the school building. Congratulations, Alice, on this fantastic achievement. After months of preparation, North Penn High School Theater is proud to present their production of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. This story of overcoming adversity is based on the Bible, but don't be fooled. The show is anything but dry, filled with nonstop singing and dancing that is sure to entertain. Tickets are $5 for students and $10 for adults. Come out tonight and tomorrow at 7.30 or Sunday at 2 p.m. to support the entire company and all their dedicated work. So we have in store for this week's slowdown. Well, we have Aaron Hebner here, who is a senior who just recently got back from Disney, and Maddie and I, we are both juniors. So Aaron, <laughs> hey guys, did we go to Disney? I did, and I had a great time. It was an awesome experience. I heard you guys had a meeting yesterday. We yeah. did. Yeah, I, I definitely I recommend go. you go, and to all juniors watching, I recommend you go too. Thanks, Aaron. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get started with this week's slowdown. It's especially important for seniors, so pay attention. And for all of your lazy friends with late arrival, make sure you pass on the information. Senior prom is right around the corner, and today is the last day for ticket sales at the price of $80. Table arrangement forms are now available. Go to the prom table sign-up link on the Class of 2017 webpage or the link on the screen to electronically submit your request. Here's how to do it. There is a link in directions on the back of your prom ticket. Please use this information to electronically sign up for senior prom table assignments. Go to the link and click on Prom Seating. When you click on the link, you'll be redirected to a Google form. Only one member of your table should fill this out for the entire group. The person filling out the form should start by answering their name, phone number, and ID. Continue on the form answering if you have a non-North Penn student guest and filling out their name if you do. Answer how many people in all you will be signing up to be at your table, including yourself. Click next on the form to be taken to the next page. All North Penn students who are sitting at your table must be entered with their North Penn ID number regardless of what grade they're in. Enter the student ID number for everyone sitting at your table. Only 12 people per table and you must sit with your date. It is fine to sign up with less than 12 people if you wish. But please know if you sign up with less than 12 people, then your group will be added to another group with less than 12 people randomly. Each table seats 12 people, so six couples. You must have this form filled out by Monday, May 1st. If you choose not to fill out a form or have your name on somebody else's, you will be randomly placed at a table. Make sure you're making the best out of this magical night. Now, in regards to the senior class video, we have 41 days until graduation, which means we're even closer to senior class night and the reveal of our senior class video. Our NPTV seniors are hard at work making this year's video the best one yet, but we need your help. If you want to be included and have school appropriate photos or videos uh, of you and your friends enjoying all things North Penn, I want you to send them to me. This includes anything from football games to sports cheers to lunch tables to Disney. Upload your videos to Google Drive and share them with me at the email shown below. But if you need me to repeat it for you, here it is, h-u-e-b-n-e-l at stew.mpen.org. Just remember, just because you share a video does not mean it will make it in the finished product. Okay, now for sophomores and juniors. If you received a Link Crew nomination form, be sure to attend the informational session next Tuesday in the cookie corner in the cafeteria during ninth period. If you did not get a nomination form but would still like to apply, forms are available in K25, D103, or the K-Pod reception office. 
Finally, the polls are still open for SGA junior and senior class elections. Voting wraps up Monday at 2 p.m., so make sure you visit the high school's webpage or check the SGA's Twitter for the link to vote and make your voice heard. That's all we have today. In honor of Eric Biteman, I'm Erin Huebner, and you've just been lowdown. Thank you, Erin. I yep. would choose not to share my most embarrassing childhood memory. But for those of you that did, I'm sure it'll prove to make one interesting question of the week. One time I tried to climb a tree and then the branch broke. When I had two ponytails and I cut one off, a boy walked in on me in the bathroom in second grade. I threw myself at my birthday party. My sister pushed me down the stairs. In first grade, I got nervous taking over test, so I peed on the floor. Um, the first time I went to bed at a sleepover. <laughs> I did the challenge show and I peed my pants on the stage when I uh, slipped on a banana peel. And I'm loving the way that you moved in my vibe and you danced in my... Mr. Monero is here with members of the North Penn Auto Club to talk about their upcoming auto show. But before that, Mr. Monero, do you have any embarrassing childhood memories? We really want to hear about them. Well, actually, yeah, one time I got a B on an English quiz. It's terrible. Um, good morning, North Penn. Hope everybody's doing well today. I am here with Jason Zinkoff and Matt Rink. Now, before I start talking to them, I want you guys to understand that if you think they are extremely articulate, extremely well-spoken, totally professional, that's because they're both public speaking students. One first semester, one this semester. Isn't that right, gentlemen? That is correct. Yes, it is. Yeah. And Jason was running here and tripped and scraped up his knees this morning a little bit, but other than that, we're in good shape. Pads. All right, it has nothing to do with uh, that, though. We're here to talk about the Auto Club. Yes, we are. You guys have a couple things coming up, including tonight's Forza Motorsport 6 tournament. That is correct. I have no idea what that is. Please tell us. All right, so uh, Forza 6 is like a racing simulator game. So we thought it would be a cool idea to start a new tradition at the school. So what it is is a tournament, uh, double elimination style bracket. You, uh, it's at 3 p.m. in the senior cafe. Buy-in is $10. And um, a portion of the profits will be donated to next year's Minithon. And the winner of the tournament gets a $25 gift card to the place of your choice. And you get to enter a car to the show for free. Okay, so you enter a car into the auto show, but like I might not know what the auto show is. So, Matt Rank, tell us about the North Penn High School International Auto Show. So, the auto show is going to be May 25th, and it's $10 to enter, but if you win the uh, Forza tournament, then you can enter your car for free. Uh, you can sign up in H3, or um, there's QR codes on our posters that we have around the school. So, you can just scan the QR code, and it'll take you right to the sign-up form or you can sign up at northpennautoclub.org and uh, click the link there and you can go to the form right from there to sign up. Will you guys both be at the uh, competition this afternoon or does one of you have lacrosse today? Uh, I do have lacrosse today. I thought I maybe you, you might get drafted today in day two of the NFL draft, so I wasn't sure if maybe that was going to get in the way too. Uh, well, uh, I don't play football, so. <laughs> so what? You're athletic. Yeah. The guy that got drafted yesterday, like second pick overall, only played 13 games in college. I mean, come on. That's only 13 more than you. Zinke, how sure. about you? You're going to be um, there today? I will be there. I won't be competing it. I'll be, like, running it. I'll be Is that because you're too good? Um, well, I mean, I used to play it a lot, but I haven't played it in, like, a year, so I don't know. Probably still rusty. But, yeah, I'll be there. I'll be telling people what station they're at, who they're okay. playing against, and what time. All right, very good. And Mr. Boyer's your advisor, right? Yep. Yeah. Awesome He's guy. a great dude. All right, North Penn, have a great weekend. Make sure today at some point if you see Matt Stevenson or Hunter Hamlin, you salute their mustaches. Have a great day, North Penn, and make it a great weekend for somebody else, too. We'll send it back to the desk. Thank you, Mr. Monero. Let's check, check back in with Mr. Brumball for the answer to this week's Brumball Challenge. Hey, welcome back. The answer you've all been waiting for. Joseph's real wife was named Asenath. Bet you didn't know that? Now you do. Thanks for playing this week's Brumball Challenge. The winner of this week's Brumball Challenge is Swindells in A11. We just want to say good luck to the, all the runners competing at Penn Relays today. Keep up the good work. That's all we have for this edition of Mornings. I'm Maddie Oxenreiter. And I'm Dan Haynes. Thanks for joining us and have a wonderful day, North Penn. We leave you today with another reason why we love North Penn and a look at our indoor guards performance.